<clears throat> and done. We're finally moved. I gotta say, I think that's the quickest we've ever done that. Hey. What's wrong? You have seemed down since I told you. You're not blaming yourself still, are you? I told you before. This is not your fault. We'd planned this move. Months in advance to your people showing up. Humans have been getting closer for a long time. Nothing you could have done would have prevented this move. Nothing you did caused it. I want you to quit thinking that it's your fault. Do I need to hit those thoughts out of your head? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Unless you keep thinking that way, then I will. I think everyone, while sad about leaving their old home, was looking forward to this move for a change of scenery. We'd been in that village for quite a while. This is most likely going to be our last move. We are far back behind all the other orc villages. The farthest away from the human border as we can get. No one here blames you. They know as well as I do that it's not your fault. I will never let anyone take you, or hurt you. If anyone dared to hurt you, whether they be orc, human, or anyone else, if they hurt you, I will put an end to it, so to speak. We won't have any trouble like that from them. My people. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, our people. <laughs> sorry, I'm still not used to that. Because they don't blame you. That, and they know about my protective tendencies, I guess you can say. I think that's why they named me Master of War. It's because of how protective I am of my people. I would die for any of them. We should get some rest. It's been a long day. You can take the bed. I'll take the floor. Huh? No, no, I can't. I can't let you sleep on the floor. You didn't plan to? Oh, then you mean... Oh. Are you sure? I'm willing to go slow. For you. I know humans don't do things as fast as us orcs do. Okay. Well then, let's get some rest. We have a long day of work tomorrow. Night. Good morning, sleepyhead. I let you sleep in. You were just so cute, I couldn't disturb you. That'd be like waking a sleeping fawn. I couldn't do it. A few of us went back to our old village. To see what was left. And it was crawling with humans. They have been dealt with. Don't worry. How? Well, I had the idea to trap them in fire. There's only one way to go. 
they had to narrow their formation so they could not overwhelm us. They were dealt with quick. None of them made it out. None of our people were hurt. They are some of the best fighters in the world. I was honored to fight beside them. But none of them could hold a candle to me anymore. Because of you, I have unmeasurable power. Ever since I saw you for the first time, I felt stronger. I don't know how to explain it, but I do. I feel something when those humans are going to take you away from me, or try to take you away from me. I feel extreme rage, like a rage I have never known. I could not control it. If someone tries to hurt you or take you from me, I'm filled with a fire that cannot be put out until the danger is dealt with. I don't know how you do this, but when I think of you, I gain the strength of ten of my people, and the skill in battle is twenty. I was able to do twice the amount of work in one day because I thought of you. I was able to strategically think on how to deal with those humans at our old home because of you. I'm able to protect our people to the best of my abilities because of you. Let's go. We still have work to do. I didn't do your work today. Can't you, uh, I can't let you sleep off every day now, can I? Don't want you to lose that muscle. <laughs> Let's go.